I'm going to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, first of all, I hope this video finds you well. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You know the whole nine yards. Um, I've had several of you ask me recently over the last few months to share my toy collection. And when I think about Christmas, I'm still a kid inside. I still think about toys. So let me show you my collection and walk you through what I got and what's my favorite stuff and that sort of thing. And uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody. So since it's Christmas time, we're going to start with one of my favorite pieces here, which is this Tonka fire truck. Uh, I found this about, I don't know, six months ago, maybe. And I was so excited to find it because I had been looking for it and it's in mint condition. Obviously, it still has the ladders, which they always, they've always got lost. The cherries always got broke off, but then to find it in the original box. So what ex excites me about this is back in 76 or so, 77, 78, whenever this came out, that's what I, that's what was under the tree for me from Santa, uh, along with a Nylant, um, along with a Nylant uh, ambulance that I still don't have. I'll put a picture of it up here. But that's one of my favorite things to have just because it's still in that original box. I remember this from when I was a kid. Of course, the Steel logo. So just very excited to have that. Another piece I had when I was a kid was this Grand Prix special car with the trailer and the two uh, two race cars on top. I had been looking for this for quite a while, uh, and this one came up on Facebook Swap. I couldn't believe it. The hit that was complete. Um, I think one of the cars is missing a wheel, but other than that, it's in great shape. So again, that's something I had when I was a kid. I had that along with the fire trucks. And uh, what I like about this model is that they made it in several different uh, styles. And I have three of them right there. I bought this shelf off of uh, Facebook Swap, brought it down here and painted it white. And it was just perfect for all the semi-trucks that I have. Uh, Texaco, of course, is one of my favorite semi-trucks. It's in great shape. Uh, love that truck to death, but my one I love the most is this one up here is the auto transport or called the Motor City Transport by Powerhouse. It was Marks, the company Marks made it. I bought the box off of Facebook Swap before I bought the truck, before I bought the semi because you just cannot find the boxes. They are impossible to find. The guy sold it to me for $60 and uh, yeah, it's just like, where are you ever going to find that? That's the stuff that always got thrown away. So I hope to find a better quality one of those someday that has the cars and everything with it. But for now, that's one of my favorite pieces in the collection. One thing about my collection you'll notice is I do not have any type of construction equipment, really. I have tow trucks, but I really don't have any of the, you know, the dozers or the dump trucks or anything like that. Just because it's not something I was interested in. I didn't have them as a kid. But I just love the pickup trucks. Those are my favorite parts of the entire collection are the pickup trucks. Especially the kind that have the, the sides sticking out, the side steps. Uh, they're also the most valuable ones with the side steps as well. And none of this collection is perfect, by the way. They all have their issues. They're all missing parts or pieces or scratches or nothing is really perfect, perfect. But, you know, I just love it. This is another one of my favorite things because it does have the original box. It's the Magic Garage and Car. And it's only it's called that because it, this door will actually fold all the way down. And with just a touch, it'll it'll pop It'll pop right up, and that's probably why it's called the Magic Garage, but it's an incredible shape, and I just love that piece. I love these old tin litho buildings. I've got the service station over here, which is another favorite piece because of it. it's got the oil cans and the air pump and all that outside. Um, and the books on top are old books, oil and rubber. Uh, kind of tells the history of time, how to make tires and stuff for kids back in the day. Uh, great pieces, totally love them. Now, I don't know why, but U-Haul collectors out there with an island are crazy. I, this stuff goes for real competitive money. Uh, like one of these trucks can be $150 to $300, you know. Uh, not mine because not, mine are not perfect again, but still, like this one here is missing the cab over the pickup truck. You can buy them aftermarket. I need to buy one right now. But, you know, I got a couple of these trailers. I got this little U-Haul trailer here. So... I just love the U-Haul stuff, but unfortunately, everybody else does too. So when anything comes on the market, it generally goes for a pretty decent price. Over here, we have our wreckers. And uh, we have an old Tonka wrecker down there. Even in that condition, that thing is worth some major money. Uh, but this is one of my favorite ones here. Again, it's a powerhouse, the Marks brand, as you can see right there. Uh, with the original box, the truck itself is in pretty good shape. Again, one of my favorite pieces just because it does come with the box and... The boxes are just impossible to find. And then we got a couple more tow trucks up here. 
I really love this police record, but it is missing the cherry on top, but I just love the blue. It's the original paint and it's in pretty good shape overall. We also have a record over here on the other side of the room, but uh, what I wanted to show you is the amount of Jeeps that we have here. Um, that's one I actually bought off an online auction. And then over here, we've got an army Jeep, another army Jeep, but this was my one of my first things I ever bought for the collection was this Tonka Jeep in the original box. Again, just impossible to find the original boxes and uh, very excited to have that. And that's kind of what we got, got me started on collecting stuff in the first, collecting these trucks in the first place. Now, as you can tell, that's not a Tonka, but I had to get it because it was a uh, telephone truck. And this is the one that really set off the collection was a telephone truck with the trailer that you could actually have your, have the, your uh, wire or whatever on to your so telephone line. And then this one here, I actually bought that one off of Bob. He went to a garage sale, picked it up for 25. I offered him 50 and uh, he doubled his money in a matter of hours. So, but I just like it cause it's got all the accessories and it's got the guy sticking out the front there at the top. So that's one of my favorite pieces cause I did get it from Bob. Now here's part of my accidental collection. Uh, if you see these trucks all have the same kind of pointy nose on them and they're smaller. I didn't have any interest in collecting them. But what I did is I ended up buying toy collections and then I would sell off the pieces I didn't want. And these kind of always got set aside and then I realized that I actually had a little collection of them. So I decided to go ahead and put them on the shelf and now I actually like them. <laughs> and of course this entire channel is what about what? About trash picking and dumpster diving. And so it wouldn't be complete without having your own personal dump truck, right? I only wish it were life size so we could really get into the junk removal business big time. So yeah, that is our toy collection down here in the basement. That's where I come down, I sit sometimes and I uh, just enjoy the view. I like looking at them and thinking about them and thinking about where I got them and all that sort of good stuff. So anyway, all right, everybody, that's it. That's the collection you've asked about. I wanna wish you all a very Merry Christmas and so does James. All right, everyone, it's Christmas Eve. I'm still out doing my thing. I hope everybody has a great and happy holiday and Merry Christmas to everyone. I texted Bob and asked him for a little short video too to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and he didn't do it because he is not feeling good. He uh, He's having a hard time. His uh, grandson thought I should take him out next week and go dumpster diving. I thought that was a great idea. And then Bob's like, there's no way possible. He's no way he could even get up and walk around to do something like that. Uh, this fracture is going to take a long time to heal. So please keep the prayers coming. Send Bob your love and uh, hope for the best. That's all we can do is hope for the best. So anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Be safe out there. And we'll see you real soon. We have a great video coming up on Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.